would you describe your art and your practice to someone who is curious but completely unfamiliar with it? That's always been a, a difficult question for me trying to describe what I do because I've always felt that my journey has, has always been kind of search and exploration for meaning, uh, essentially talking about use, using photography to, to address uh, indigenous urbanization. And um, so I use a documentary format for my photographs, the way that I photograph streets and whatever it is, is that I find that's of interest to my practice. And I think that really it's about exploration of, of the urban landscape and using photography as a means to convey what I feel is um, kind of living in the shadows as a cultural person living in the city. So essentially that's what my work is. And I think also too to broaden the, the image of, of what a photograph of an Indian looks like and to address historical practice as well. So my work is really, at this point, is a combination of uh, my own photographic work and engaging historical imagery, photographs, paintings as well. But really the idea is to open up a conversation about, about who I am, where I come from, and to um, hopefully reach other Indigenous people that are dealing with the same issues. Can you tell me about the, the piece uh, that you have in the Ottawa Art Gallery exhibition? Well, I moved to, uh, to Ottawa in 1993. Initially, I came up in, in 1992 during the uh, Christopher Columbus celebrations for his 500th anniversary that were taking place. I did a road trip to the United States that summer. Somebody had told me, well, they said, you should go to Ottawa and see uh, the, the Champlain Monument there. There's a, there's a big Indian kneeling at the base of the monument. So a friend of mine and I drove up to, to Ottawa to see the, the Champlain statue. and. Um, I was really shocked at, at its messaging, what it was saying, but also too interested in using it as a focal point for talking about um, commemoration. What does it mean to commemorate Indigenous people? My encounter with, with the Champlain Monument in 1992 kind of set in motion uh, this idea of uh, engaging public monument, how do you go about doing it? I moved to Ottawa the following year to uh, start a research project at Library and Archives Canada. And so at the time, I was doing a kind of a con concurrent project of continuing my photographic work in Ottawa and also doing research. But everything that I did kind of pivoted around the Champlain Monument because I was interested in the dynamics of, uh, first of all, what the general public took away from the monument and then kind of creating a new, a new segment, a new legacy for that monument by uh, photographing, trying to find other figures that look like that as well. Bear came up to Ottawa in, uh, to stay with me, and I think it was 1996 was the year, and uh, I had already been doing a series called Bear Portraits, where I photographed bear in different uh, urban locations, environmental portraits. And uh, so he, we went up to the Champlain Monument, and um, Bear posed with the Indian figure at the monument, and he was wearing a t-shirt that uh, had in big letters FBI, and it kind of had a dual meaning in terms of full-blooded Indian, and then the FBI in terms of surveillance in that. And uh, so that kind of set in motion um, uh, the work that I was doing in Ottawa as t in terms of um, identity and looking at these different locations and how do we engage and what do we have to say about them. But that's the work that's in the, in the collection at the Ottawa Art Gallery. I did four, four portraits of him at the monument at that time. And so it was really the first question of looking at how do you engage with something that seems impenetrable. A national monument to a, to a national figure, can anything like that ever change? How can you engage in a monument, a bronze monument, and bring some sort of conversation to it that will enlighten the public as to, well, what's missing from this spot? And so that's what the, uh, the photographs in the exhibition are representative of. What do you think it means to the Ottawa Art Gallery to have this new space, this new building, this purpose-built building, what does it mean to its reputation and its uh, future? It's really interesting to see how persistent people have been and that it's finally taking place. And I think it's, it's, and it's always been such an awkward space to get to, like it's not really accessible for parking and things like that or people with disabilities and that. And um, so I think that there's a real sense of um, excitement, at least for me, I haven't been to the Auto Art Gallery in quite a few years. Uh, simply because of mobility issues, but I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen and where it's going to go now and see that it actually has, takes its place in, in the auto art scene as it should be.